What is it like to drink the water that was once drinkable from the tap, but can now be ignited by a cigarette lighter? What does it feel like to live in a house that was once impregnable, but can now collapse at any moment due to the cracks? Those beautiful dreams that we once kept looking for were now broken sharply by the reality. All this starts with the shale gas, which has been described as a symbol of America's energy revolution in the 21st century. In the United States, about 75% of the oil shale is concentrated in Colorado, Utah, and Wyoming. The shale gas in Colorado is mostly extracted with the hydrofracturing method by injecting chemicals into underground wells at high pressure and fracturing to widen the hole, allowing the gas in the shale to seep out so as to be collected. At least 30% more methane is released during extraction compared to conventional natural gas extraction, and might even be up to twice as much. A study at the University of Colorado School of Public Health found that the hydrofracturing method can trigger asthma attacks in people in nearby homes. Some chemicals linked to it have a 25% chance of causing cancer and can even affect fertility. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has reported that at current drilling rates, about 35,000 shale wells are drilled each year on average, consuming 70 billion to 140 billion gallons of water for shale oil and gas production. In a world increasingly short of fresh water, such a problem cannot be ignored. About 20% of the wastewater mixed with chemical liquids and heavy metals returns to the earth, which is highly toxic to both plants and aquatic life. A study by Duke University found that wells within about 1,000 meters of natural gas wells would all be contaminated eventually. In the documentary Gasland, which was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Documentary Feature in 2011, Josh Fox revealed an untold story by documenting the environmental crisis caused by millions of Americans extracting natural gas in their backyards. Over time, the real damage is far worse than what has been said publicly. 